Alright, Warcraft 3 Reforged. The lowest rating ever on Metacritic, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of people are absolutely outraged about it, and I must say, while some of them are overreacting, there are definitely good reasons to be disappointed here. Let's talk about the vanilla game for just a moment. Warcraft 3 is easily one of my favorite games of all time. Certainly my absolute favorite RTS, and an incredibly influential game overall. It truly gave rise to the Warcraft Phantom as we know it. The vast majority of Warcraft-related popular things, I suppose, can trace their roots to this very game. Characters like Thrall, Jaina, Arthas, Illidan, Tyranda, Malfurion, all of them were fleshed out in Warcraft 3. The Night Elves as a whole, the Tauren, the Demon Hunters, hell, even the Pandaren were first introduced in this game. <laughs> and I suppose I left out the elephant in the room, which is Defense of the Ancients, initially a Warcraft 3 custom map that gave rise to the whole MOBA genre as we know it. Anyway, so with all that said, back at BlizzCon 2018, when they announced Reforged, a lot of people, myself included, got really hyped up and excited about it. And unlike StarCraft Remastered, which was essentially an HD remake with modern Battle.net integration, Warcraft 3 Reforged came along with some rather big promises. First, they talked about completely remaking the old models, and that is more or less the extent of what we actually got. But initially that wasn't all. They also talked about expanding on some of the lore to better fit the following story in World of Warcraft, and probably the most exciting of it all, remastering of the in-game cutscenes, making them more dynamic, more emotional, and so on. And of course, they showed the reforged calling of Strathholm, where Arthas, Uther, and Jaina argue before the city was purged, and so on, and it looked pretty good. Well, as I implied before, other than the updated models, literally everything else was cancelled. Now, they have stated that they're cancelling it in the months prior to release, but they did not do a good enough job in communicating that to everyone. They had to, at the very least, send emails out to those who pre-ordered the game to let them know of the extent to which the final product has been changed from um, what they initially advertised at BlizzCon, and that was what probably made all these people pre-order in the first place. What's worse, to this very day, they still have the same Calling of Strathholm trailer on the official website, on the same page where the buy button is. So the highly animated scenes with dramatic music and all that, which we see in the trailer, are now replaced with characters mostly standing in one place and voice lines playing in the background. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. And speaking of characters standing and doing mostly nothing, that is how the vast majority of cutscenes look in the reforged version. In fact, in some cases, it's actually worse than the original. Have a look at these examples. It is there that we shall settle the score between us. It is there that your true destiny will unfold. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! It is there that we shall settle the score between us. It is there that your true destiny will unfold. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! Be gone from this place, and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. Be gone from this place, and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. Here I'm watching these scenes and what I see is that someone just didn't bother. Once again, the original sequences were not much more dynamic, but the graphic style itself was 
over the top and highly stylized and it didn't look as uncanny as it does with the more realistic models we have now. And the same is true for the new portraits. They were kind of exaggerated in the original, their heads and mouths moved way too much, and now they're more realistic and prettier, I suppose, but most of them feel completely lifeless. And on top of it, the lip sync is all over the place. Sometimes the portrait is in sync with what's being said, other times it's obviously delayed, and yet other times their lips don't even move at all. The portrait just stands idle while the character speaks. Fight on, my warriors! We must reach Hellscream before it's too late! Fight on, my warriors! We must reach Hellscream before it's too late! Hellscream, you've got to come with me! Also, a good amount of these new portraits don't look so good, to me at least. Some of them appear unfinished or not polished enough, like the lighting or shadows or reflections or some combination of them are just off. Others just look weird or not very fitting for the art style we're used to in Warcraft. And there are even some that are flat out wrong, like Thrall having a massive beard. But the issues don't end there. The sound design is actually worse than the original as well. There are so many cases of imbalance between the music and the dialogue volume. Sometimes the music was way too quiet, and other times I could not hear what the characters were saying because of how loud it was. And orcs have recently despoiled these forest lands and incurred his wrath. There were also cases of one character sounding way too quiet in comparison to the others in the same scene. Ah, you mindless ones. Shut up, boys. But I want you to watch over this land. See to it that my legacy endures. I shall, King Arthas. I shall. And sound isn't the final issue either. Overall performance is bad as well. Initially, I tried running the game with two-month-old drivers, and it ran really bad for my system. I was getting regular FPS drops to about 30, as well as these annoying freezes where the graphics would pause for a moment while the sound continues and then a second or two later it would resume. If I still have footage of that I'll be showing it on screen right now. And only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor. But thankfully upgrading to January drivers resolved the freezes and some of the FPS drops but ultimately I kept occasionally dropping to 40-45 FPS during cutscenes and we're talking of cutscenes where we have a couple of characters just standing and mostly idling, so the remastered game is far from being properly optimized. While reading comments on my videos, people have complained of crashes, getting instant defeat screens, which I did as well when trying to play the campaign with the original graphics. And by the way, I actually got an instant victory screen once, on the very final mission actually of the Frozen Throne campaign, I started it and it immediately cut to the credits. Uh, and speaking of that mission, should we mention the only remastered cutscene? A lot of people hate it, you know, the fight between Ilden and Arthas. I don't, to be honest. In fact, first off it looked like stop motion video to me. You know, like plastic figurines fighting each other. But ultimately, if that was the only issue, I could live with it absolutely fine. So I don't really want to dwell on it too much. Sadly, as you can tell up to this point, there were far greater and far more numerous issues. And all I've talked about so far isn't even going into the multiplayer aspect of Warcraft 3 and the custom maps, where all kinds of functionalities that have existed for, what, 18 years in the original game are no longer present. People have complained about not being able to play multiple accounts in the ladder like they used to. Hell, even I remember doing it back in the day. Also, the removal of clan functionality, removal of LAN play, removal of any kind of offline play, and so on. And all these features are potentially gone forever, or at least until they patch them in, because when you upgrade to Warcraft 3 Reforged, any traces of your original client are automatically removed, and you can no longer access it or even legally download it as far as I know. All that is left is the reforged version of the game with the option to play with old graphics. However, all the old functions are just lost. 
So basically, spending 30 bucks to buy the remaster can really mess up the way you used to play Warcraft 3. Add to that the fact that they've most likely removed the very things that made you excited to buy it in the first place, I can see how people are not exactly thrilled with what Blizzard has done with this game. Ultimately, if you are mostly after the single player and the campaign, and all you wanted is prettier models, it may be worth picking up, assuming you can run it properly. But to me personally, the graphics of the original game were never an issue, even in current day and year. And every single thing that excited me, that made me instantly pre-order the game, they have removed. It actually makes me wonder what took them so long to release it, given that every significant change was actually not implemented. Anyway, that's all I had to say on the matter. If you're looking for a truly improved Warcraft 3 experience, you're not going to find it in Reforged. Not in its current state, at least. And maybe not ever. I'm starting to sound a bit too disappointed, but it's true, I suppose. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and also share your thoughts of Warcraft 3 Reforged down below. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.